standing out here on a point listening to me and my buddy Jesse. I don't got any more tags left, but he's got two, so we're gonna hammer down. There was, I don't know, how many did we hear in here the other night? Like five? That was like a week ago, but there was at least five birds in here, so. It's pretty weird talking to the camera when your buddy's standing over there. <laughs> but me and Jesse got three days for him to kill two birds, so let's see what happens. And it just rained and got sunny, so we might find some mushrooms too. Here we go. Well, it's 7.30 and we just got a gobble. We're just gonna let him do his thing, but they didn't sound too dang far away. See where he roosts tonight and try and kill him in the morning. coming like they're already cut half the distance too
come closer though. Right there. I fucking blasted him too. Watch him, he might. What the heck? That was plenty close enough. Yeah, I saw you hit him for sure. That was no more than 40, dude. <laughs> well, Jesse, to tell everybody what just happened. <laughs> Took the shot. Just a little low, 35 yards. Don't like looting stuff. And he got away. He got away. Luckily it just looked like, I looked at the video, or looked back on the video, it looked like he just shot a little kind of in front and low and hit him just feathers it looked like. Two good toms came in, pretty wide open, botched shot. Botch the shot, that's it. <laughs> what it comes down to, botch the shot. Alright, well we're gonna, we got another one gobbling. We've heard a couple times down in this drainage way down low, so we're gonna go try for that. We'll see, if, we'll get him 30 this time. Still get another one today. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Here we go. <sighs> well, we definitely could have been done, but, and picking mushrooms by now. But not happening yet. These birds completely just shut up right now. Got some good camera footage. He wanted it. Pull out of here, check a couple more spots that we were hearing birds last week. In the first spot this morning, we heard five birds last week and only one today. And last week there was three more. There was at least eight or nine in where we're at right now. But we only heard three. Time to find a new spot. I think I'm gonna go to Brandon and Laura's favorite spot. There's always lots of Jake's. The Jake Master 5000. He loves it. Weekend warrior. Jake hunting son of a dude. That Brandon lore. Well, we're just out here checking more spots since we gotta find another one. We gotta find another one now. Uh -huh. Lots of ground. We still got two more mornings off the roost anyway, so plenty of time. Let's get after it. Get after it. Jesse's been looking for his teepee for the last two and a half hours, and it was in his backpack that was on his back the whole time. Well, it's five o'clock, 5.30. We were just down on the bottom down here. Had a bird gobble, I don't know, probably four or five times across canyon. And actually, um, there's a little closed road right here where we're camping. <clears throat> and if you walk
walk out this closed road. We should get right up above him. Um, I don't think we're gonna uh, kill him tonight. I mean, unless we get a good opportunity and for some reason he wants to come do a call after. Seems like they don't do that after about five. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we're gonna go in there, release roost him. The the two that I called in this morning for Jesse were down in that same area. They were up canyon a little farther. Um, the second bird, the one that he didn't shoot at, was with the one that he shot at. Um, he gobbled a couple of times after we shot because we sat there for a few minutes. <coughs> and then we, since on video you could see that he he put a couple BBs in and we went and did a little a little search and made sure that he didn't pile up in some brush pile and you know, when they're hurt they like to weasel their way up in a brush pile or something stupid like that so we went and looked all around made sure there wasn't much blood or I mean, there wasn't any blood but we made sure for sure that he wasn't wounded where we needed to try and follow him and get another one in him but pretty clean miss other than a few feathers flying looked pretty low um, but we're gonna go out here and try to roost these ones it's a little windy. Hopefully when we get down around here, it's not going to be so windy. So I'll keep you posted on what we find. Jesse's got like probably 40 pounds of snacks in that backpack. They're just, it's never ending. There's just more stuff coming out. Just... <laughs> His girlfriend really packs the snacks, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, it's way too early in the morning. And we're headed into where we roosted those birds last night. We're following the four-wheel tra four wheeler trail on the closed road. That's how you get back there, for sure. <coughs> it's May 4th. And we're just waiting for Jesse to kill one. All I can do is just sit back and watch. And laugh. And laugh. And get pissed. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna be another, uh, adventurous day in the turkey woods with the headlamp. One's coming far to the right on the other side of that little juniper. But that one, yeah, I, I can see the gobbler, he's coming. <laughs> yeah, just look through that opening, you'll see him. Do you see him? Here he comes right out.
Well, we were as close as you get to killing one without even seeing him. I mean, Jesse could see his feet and he was going back and forth and he was strutting. But he never would come around this little brush pile, kind of. There was some, yeah, he wouldn't even, I mean, didn't even stick his head up, nothing. He just stayed, I don't know, he was probably only 35 yards. But there was kind of some down logs and stuff. and I figured that they'd come around it. But smart old gob, I guess. Or he just got lucky this morning. <laughs> One of the two. But <clears throat> once again, the being out really early paid off. Because we only heard like maybe five birds last night. And this morning there was eight. So, I mean. Being up early counts. Yeah. If you're not out here before daylight, you're just wasting a lot of time, I can tell you that. <coughs> but there was two birds kind of over where we're heading. I haven't heard them in a long time. They haven't answered. But <coughs> we're going to go get them now. And we got two. <coughs> the one bird we were on right off the roost. He was coming to us, but he... And flew down and took him away and took him up the hill so we're gonna head that way probably too there was another one that gobbled up there last night and a couple times this morning so <clears throat> just gotta keep hammering Listen for about 15, 20 minutes and nothing. So I sent out a call and got nothing. So they're quiet enough, but we're gonna circle around. <clears throat> Get on top of the ridge and try those two birds that were up there. Do some sitting and some sleeping. I don't know. But hopefully, we can uh, get some video of somebody killing something. Over and out. Well, it's almost 3 o'clock. I walked out onto a point and finally got one to go. And, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the aluminum just let him have it, and he just said, man, you sound sexy. <laughs> We're going to see how sexy I sound when we get over there, because drive around and come in above him on the skid road, <clears throat> but I have a feeling that this is that bird that we were hearing by the camp yesterday. Because it's only like, this is the next drainage over. Yeah, he probably worked over here after all that gunfire this morning. Yeah. the fucking hunter right there. <clears throat> yeah, the one 
just went across to the left, I thought. Well, that was very, very unfortunate. We were working two gobblers and some dude came with like, I, I mean, he the was trying to, crow call. yeah, the Bimart special crow call and it was crazy watching them because those birds literally, as soon as that fucking thing went off, they just popped their heads up and took off on a dead run in the opposite direction. And I might have got it on video, like but I mean, within like a second of that crow call going off, they were gone. And I had him fired up, strutting, gobbling. He just was hanging up out there. He wouldn't cut the distance. guys bumped that bird. There was two gobblers and a jake is what it was. They are by themselves. No hands that we saw. But they were when they took off running they ran this way. And this is, there's a big <clears throat> draw in between here and where they were. And this is a big opening here. And I've seen them here before so we're just going to get in here and sit and see if they gobble. Maybe even see where they're sleeping tonight. on the ground. 
just down. Huh? Yeah, right down the edge of the meadow. You can see him. So he's out in that meadow. Oh, okay, I can't see with that stump. Which way are they going? They're going left. still see him. Yeah. It sounds like he's getting a little closer. Oh yeah, he's getting closer.
close enough, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I got him. <laughs> I think so. You peppered him. <laughs> he didn't go 20. He didn't go 20, that's for sure. Heck yeah, I got him on video, too. Oh, that was a beautiful strut right there. Like, I that, bet you got good footage on that one. I had to, I had to pick the camera up because it was down all the way. And I, he got behind that tree over there and I, I lifted it up enough. And you could, it's kind of blurry, but you can see him. This fucking Well, we got him, so that's good. Right off the roost. Right off the roost. 10 minutes, 15 minutes off the roost, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was a fun one. He worked, came in like he was supposed to come in. Oh, yeah. Like they're supposed to do, you know? No. We roosted him last night. Got him set up here. Good, good old onyx. Got us set up for a good, good spot to set up for the morning. Came in. I mean, we. He didn't really want to gobble at first. Put a little call out. He started gobbling right up. Once he flew down. One more call to him. We thought he was gonna trail off to a hen. And, no, yeah, we heard, there was a hen right up here roosted somewhere right here. I keep, she was calling a whole bunch, and I was like, "Ah, oh, she's gonna pull him right away." But yeah, he went quiet for a minute there. Yeah, and then I gave him a couple little soft yelps, and he fired off, and then the drumming just started getting closer, and he started he started firing more and firing and firing, and made it into about 25 yards maybe, and. Jesse let him have it with the old single, the old shot, single shot. Single shot, so. Heck yeah, that was a fun hunt. Pretty bird. Now we have to go home early. We don't get to hike around and look for sheds today. I wanted to go look for that other side of that six point. <laughs> but maybe when I bring Braden back, I'll find it. Yeah. But <clears throat> great hunt. Jesse's first Tom. First Tom. First Tom. First so Tom. Can't beat that. Heck Put yeah. on a show this morning. He was drumming and gobbling right there at 25 yards, and pretty sure I got good video of it. So. Heck yeah. More to come. <laughs>